Okay, this is part two of question three, straight line depreciation from page 74. Okay, so now I need to do my rough work here that I can put the numbers from all of my notes, my calculations, into my provision account over here. So I need to work out my annual depreciation. So the annual depreciation, the first one, 280 grand, is 56 grand a year. Uh, the next one was bought for 360, so that's 72 grand a year. The next one was bought for 290, that's 58 grand a year. Now, is there a refrigeration? There was on one vehicle. So that is 20 grand, so 20% of that is going to be 4 grand. The first replacement vehicle is worth 260. 20% um, of that is 52 grand a year. And the second one is uh, was bought for 240, it's worth 240, so it's 48 grand depreciation a year. So now I put in my dates that I've had it, so I can multiply those dates, the amount of time I had it, by the annual depreciation, and that will give me the, uh, the figures to go in the different parts of the accounts. So the first one I bought on the first of the first, 07. Okay, I had that for all of 02. I had it for all of 03, I had it for all of 04. Uh, now, what happened to it? It was crashed in 06, so that means 05. After I've had it for five years, I get rid of it then. Uh, so that means that I'm going to have had it up to the end of 05, I will have had it for five years. So there's going to be a possibility of over, I will be over depreciating. So I'm just going to put that in there as a note for myself. So when I'm going to go and do uh, that, the notes for depreciation for year two, I'll need to make sure that I put in the fact that's over depreciation. Now when did I get rid of it? I got rid of it on the 30th of the 9th in that year. So I'm just going to put in here uh, vehicle one. Uh, so we're going to have zero uh, two over depreciation. So I'll have no depreciation then. Now, moving on to the next one. So vehicle number two, I bought in the first of seven to hold three. And I would have had that for all of 04. It doesn't say anything about me getting rid of it in 05. Um, and the same for 06, so I still had it at the end of 06. So moving on to vehicle number three, I bought 2004, so I bought that in the first of the second 2004. I had it, uh, and that was the one that I got rid of during 2005, so that lasted until the 30th of the 8th. And uh, it had a refrigeration, did it have refrigeration? No, it didn't. So the replacement for that I bought on the 30th of the 8th, and I would have had that for all of 2005. Six the next year. So the next one that was got rid of is bus number one. Yeah, so I've dealt with bus number one being crashed, and it had a uh, refrigeration unit fitted on the first the first two thousand and three. So that was fitted the first the first. Had it for all of oh four. Uh, I had it for all of oh five. And then when I get rid of that vehicle, it would have gone with it. Okay, and the replacement vehicle was bought obviously the same date, and uh, it's one that cost 240 grand. So my depreciation up to year one. So I need to work out how many years I had each thing. So year uh, this one I had vehicle one I had for four years. So that's going to be uh, 56,000 every year multiplied by four. The next one I had for one and a half years, so that's going to be you know, one uh, year, six months. Uh, so that's going to be, uh, what is it, 72 grand a year. Multiplied by uh, 1.5. Vehicle 3. I, had, I got that at the beginning of February, so I would have had it for 11 months that year. So that's going to be uh, 58 grand uh, multiplied by 11 over 12. 
So there's the total. Obviously that will be rounded off there. And we also had a refrigeration. And that one uh, came in here at the beginning of 03, so that's two years. So two years, multiply by four grand is eight grand. And then we have a total. So it's adding all the way down to there. Now, that total then is automatically then put in here. So that's the first note. Then the vehicle sold in year one. So in year one, I sold vehicle number three. And I, the full life I would have had vehicle three is, yeah, I had it for 11 months in 04 and eight months in 05. So that means I had it for 19 months. Okay, so if I worked it out, it's going to be 58 grand. Um, multiplied by, now I had it for 19 months, 19 over 12. And that's the figure that I'll put in for my depreciation. So M24 is the code. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to move on and look at the next step. Okay, we're back to uh, note number three now. So note number three is going to be depreciation of everything that happened during this year. So I'm looking at this box here. So I have a full year for the first one. So vehicle one is one year. So that's one year is 56 grand. Vehicle two is also one year, 72 grand. Vehicle 3 I had for part of the year. Okay, so the depreciation that happened only during this year is going to be 8 months. So uh, that's going to be 58 grand times 8 over 12, or 2 thirds. Just that. And then we also had the refrigeration. Refrigeration, we had it for a full year. And that's four grand. And finally, we have the first change vehicle, which is vehicle four. And we got that on the 30th of the 8th, so therefore, we would have had it for four months. So that's going to be um, 52 grand multiplied by um, four over 12. So the total. adding all those numbers together and that's the figure then that I'm going to put in for note number three so that's M33 so I'll put that in over here okay now I can go and balance this so if I add up these two sides in the two sides is my balance which I have brought down to next year which is that figure there okay so now I move back to the vehicle sold in year two note number four so that's this vehicle here vehicle one and it had the refrigeration system attached to it so vehicle one now remember uh, vehicle 1, I have maximised its depreciation at the end of 05, so I've done all years, so I'm only able to depreciate 5 years, which is going to be um, what the thing was originally worth, 280 grand. And then I'll also have a refrigeration. So the refrigeration, I had it for, let's just check, I had it for 1, 2, 3, and then I had it for 9 months. So 3 years nine months. Uh, so that's four grand a year times uh, 3.753 three and three quarter years, 15 grand. So my total is going to be 295 and that 295 is what goes in over here at my disposal. Then my depreciation for the second year. Vehicle 1, I've over-depreciated, so I can't use it anymore. Vehicle 2, 
I still have and I can depreciate it so it gets one year. And that's 72 grand a year. Vehicle 3 is gone. So, and refrigeration, I'll have that for a year. So, it went three quarters way through the year, so that's nine months. So, that's going to be three grand appreciation, three quarters, or nine months, multiply by four grand. And then we have vehicle four. Uh, so, vehicle four and vehicle five we also had. So, vehicle four we had for the full year, and it's 52 grand appreciation a year. Vehicle 5 we had for 3 months, and it's 40 grand by 3 months, a quarter, which is 12 grand. And we get total. So 139 grand. Now, I can go, I've got all my notes done, I can go finishing off the question and I can do my disposal. So that, uh, added to that, and that's the total there for the year. So my balance CD is the difference between the two sides, which is that 294.705. Okay, so now I move on to my disposal. I've already put in the motor vehicles from the first part of the question. My provision for depreciation there is automatically been filled in. That's the figure that came from... My disposals here and here. Okay, so now I need to work out how much I got. So 30th of the 8th here is when I did the changeover. So how much money did I get when I got rid of it? So bus number three is traded in against new bus and cost 260. We paid 20 and got compensation at the value of 115. So that means we would have paid, uh, so uh, we got a trade in, 60, and we would have got on the same date, uh, we would have paid uh, money on the bank, or we say we would have, yes, that was the money we got from the insurance company, so that's 115. So we add these two together and it looks like this side is going to be bigger. So I'm going to have 290 on that side. And I'll have 290 total here, which means I made a loss. So my loss, which happened on the 30th of the 8th of 5, is going to be 290 minus the 115 minus the 60 and minus the 91. Depreciation, so 20 group 3 grand. The second disposal, same story, I need to work out. Um, 30th of September 06. So, um, bus and board has crashed, trading for 10 grand, I guess, new vehicle cost in 240. So, I'll, I just get a trade in of 10 grand. Um, that means that it was worth 290 taken away from 300, it was worth 5, so that means I, uh, we forgot 10 grand for it, I made a profit of 5. So that's the profit. So that adds up to 305. Okay, that's the end of that.